In this video, we will see how do we solve the equations of this form. So, solving this equation means you have to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. Okay. So, to do that, we have to follow certain steps. So, let's see what is the first step. First step is, since you know it is 10 to the power of a number is equal 25. So, first step is you have to take log on both sides. Okay. So, when I say log, means log to the base 10. Okay. So, when we take log on both sides, what we get? Log 10 to the power 2x minus 1 is equal log of 25. Okay. So, now what you see here? Log of a number and power. So, here we will use that log. I rule log a to the power r is same as r log of a. So, in place of r, we have 2x minus 1 in power. So, this will come in as a multiplication. So, we get here 2x minus 1 times log of 10 equal log of 25. We can use calculator to get the value of log of 25. Okay. So, when we use calculator to find the value of log of 10 and log of 25, so we see that uh, log of 10, if you check log of 10, it comes out 1. Log of 25, it will come out 1.397, 3979. So, you can write 1.38. So, what our equation becomes? So, we have here 2x minus 1. Multiply by 1, so it's same, equal 1.398. Now, what we are looking for? We are looking for the value of x. So, for that, we have to take this minus 1 to the other side. So, which gives us 2x equal 1.398 plus 1. Okay. So, which is nothing but 2.398. This is the value of x. As we need the value of x, we divide both sides by 2. This cancels the x. And this gives us the value of x as... Yes, this we can find by calculator. So, this gives us x as 1.199. Okay, because it is 1.1989, you can round it off and say 1.199. Okay, so this is the way how we solve this question. Let's look at another example. Here what you see, again, when it asks to solve, it means you have to find the value of x. Okay, but here you see that unlike previous question, you have 8 as multiplication with e power x. So, um, what we did in the previous example, we since we were not having any number in multiplication, we started, we started by taking logarithm. So, first we need to reduce this question into that form. So, what we will do? We divide both sides by 8 because we don't need this number here as a coefficient. So, when we do this, what will happen? This 8 get cancelled with this 8 and we left with e power x equal 24 divide 8 which gives you Okay, now here in the as in the last question, we took uh, the value of we took the log here since it's e, we take log to the base e of both sides, which is ln on both sides. Okay, so if it is 10 or any other number, we will be using we will be using log. But if it is e, the exponential function, we will be using ln, which is log to the base e. Log means log to the base 2. Okay, you just remember this. So, when we take log on both sides, we ln on both sides, we get ln e power x is equal to ln of 3. Again, using the same rule, the rule that ln of a power r equal r ln of a. So, here in place of r, you have x. So, what you get? Get here x 
ln of e equal ln of 3. And you can find again by using calculator the value of ln 3, which comes out to be 1.0986. Okay, now if you check ln of e, the value of ln of e, it is 1. So here you get directly the value of x as 1.0986 because x times 1 gives you x. Okay, let's take another example and I believe after that it will be clear to you. So you have the question 4 to the power 3x plus 2 equal 9. So it is similar to the very first question. So here we start by taking log. Take log on both sides. So when we do that, we get the equation ln. Sorry, we are taking log. So we should write log, not ln. Log 4 to the power 3x plus 2 equal log of 9. In power, we have 3x plus 2. So whenever you have more than one term, like with plus or minus, put them in a bracket. So what we get here? 3x plus 2 times log of 4 equal log of 9. You can calculate the values of log of 4 and log of 9 by using calculator. So 3x plus 2 times log of 4. If you use calculator, it gives you value 0 0.602 and log of 9 gives you 0 0.954. Okay, so again, what we are looking for, we are looking for the value of x. It means we don't need this term. So we need to first divide by this term. We don't need anything in multiplication. 0, 0.62. 0, 0. So what happened here? This cancels. So this gives you 3x plus 2 and you simplify this term again with the help of calculator. That gives you 1.585. Okay. Now you are looking for x. So you have to move this plus 2 to the other side. And I hope you remember when you move any positive term to the other side, the sign changed to negative. So 1.585, this plus 2 become minus 2. Okay. Which on simplification gives you minus of 0 0.4148. And here you have 3x. Now, as you need x, what you will be doing next is dividing by 3. Coefficient of x. Okay. So, this cancels here. And this gives you the value of x is minus. When you divide this number by 3, you get 0 0.138. Okay. So, this is how you solve this kind of questions. Let's solve one more question and then I think you will be done with okay with this topic. So here it is 3 times e to the power x plus 4 equal 50. Again you don't need this coefficient 3. So first step you will be doing is divide both sides by 3. So this cancels and 15 divide 3 gives you 5. So let's write down what we get. The simplified form e to the power x plus 4 equal 5. Now since here it's e, so you will take the natural log. So take ln on both sides. So when you do that, what you will have? ln of e to the power x plus 4 equal ln of 5. Again by using the rule. This power comes into the multiplication in the next step. So, x plus 4 multiplied by ln of e equals ln of 5. Okay, now getting the values from by using calculator, 
ln of e is 1, ln of 5 is 1.609. So, this gives us x plus 4. x plus 4 times 1 gives you x plus 4 equal 1.609. Now, you want x. So, what you will be doing? You move this plus 4 to the other side. So, this gives us x equal 1.609 minus 4. Again, you can use calculator for the same. So, this gives us the value of x as minus 2.39. Okay. So, this is the general idea how we solve such kind of questions.